Hey, it's Sage, and today I'm going to be showing you how I paint uh, bugs on rocks. You can paint uh, beetles or ladybugs or butterflies, whatever you really want to. It just depends on the wing shape. Uh, so right here is a picture of all the supplies I used. And right here is a picture of the outline that I used to draw. Uh, my uh, the, Just the layout I used to draw for my bug. And I used Prismacolor pencils uh, to draw the layout because I prefer uh, Prismacolor pencils over charcoal because charcoal tends to smear, uh, while, while as the Prismacolors don't really smear. Um, and also, I don't like it because charcoal gets on my fingers. So right here you can just see me. I'm uh, painting in the wing color. I chose uh, a purple color. Um, to ch shade in the wings, and uh, the paint that I used was uh, pretty thin, so I had to do about four coats uh, to finally cover everything up, and plus I had uh, painted the rock black first, uh, because I had painted a picture on before and I didn't like it, so I just covered it up with black, but uh, if you're doing it, you don't really have to paint uh, a black layer, it's much easier not to. And so right here, you can see the paint is much more opaque, uh, so I just had to do one coat with that. And I was using a round uh, brush to uh, paint that in, and I was painting the head in green, and also the tail. <clears throat> and you can see I'm covering up the guidelines that I had drawn in with Prismacolor, um, but that was just a guideline to see, you know, how I wanted it to look. I'll, I'll go back in and redraw those. And right here, I'm just doing one last top coat. So right here, I'm going in and I'm taking my Prismacolor pencil. Um, and preferably when you use uh, a Prismacolor pencil, you might want to use white or a lighter color so it'll show up on your rock. Um, right here I'm using blue because uh, that's the one I had on me. Uh, so I used that and I just sketched in the lines uh, the design for um, my bug that I was doing. It's, I don't know, some kind of beetle slash butterfly, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I was doing. And right here, I'm taking a round detailer brush, and I'm just going over uh, and outlining the wings just to give clean it up and then give it a little bit dimension, uh, of a dimension uh, so that it goes over. Um, you can see it's going over the tail instead of just being flat on the tail. And right here, I'm taking another round uh, brush, and I'm just lining in with a dark violet purple um, all the lines that I had drawn on the butterfly, or bug, or whatever it is. And uh, so yeah, I'm just doing that, and then I'm going to come back in, and I'm going to mix a little bit of the dark violet with some water, and I'm just going to paint it all on the ladybug rock in each sections, focusing the darker color towards the dark line crevices and then lightening it up in the center with a Kleenex and just dab it right down the center. And right here you can see I'm just shading in uh, the exact same wing, uh, the exact same way on, as I did on the other side.
Okay, so the next step that I'm doing is I'm mixing uh, a little bit of uh, a really light pink, like a baby pink, into uh, the um, uh, one of the sections at the very center. I'm going to concentrate the lightest color down the very center and then add some darker purple around the edges and mix the paint, the lighter paint, in so that it's lighter in the center and then it kind of slowly fades to a darker color. And I'm just going to repeat this on each of the segments, or, or wings, um, on the butterfly, or beetle, and uh, I'm just doing, um, on this, uh, in this video, I'm just going to paint in one wing for you guys, just so you can see, you know, how I did it, but it doesn't make this video super long by doing both of the wings. And you'll see, I'll insert a picture in the very end of uh, the finished um, butterfly. And right here, I'm just painting in um, the lines that I had drawn on with Prismacolor, and I'm taking a really darker green, and I'm just mixing it with a little bit of water, and I just decided to just paint the entire thing with that water, light and water mixture uh, paint, and I just painted over the entire thing. And then I focused um, a darker color, more of a, an opaque green. Uh, it's the same green, but I just uh, focused it darker towards the... Uh, where the wings, uh, the purple hits the green. And then I just redrew in uh, the lines, uh, the dark green lines. And then right here I'm doing the same exact technique as I did with the purple wing. And I just took like a yellowy green color and I just focused it down the center. And then when I got closer to like the uh, darker segments, I mixed uh, more darker green with that. And I just did it on all the little sections. And right here you can see um, I'm getting uh, some paint to do the eyes and I was using the edge of my brush, uh, the back end of my brush, and I just used uh, the top end of my brush just to round it out again because, uh, I don't know, I just thought it needed to be rounded out. And you should probably wait for this to dry, the white to dry, but I didn't. I wanted to hurry up and just uh, get the eyes finished, so I went ahead and used black um, immediately after. Um, and if you want uh, the eye, the black eye, to come out more round, uh, it's probably better if you wait until it dries. And right here, I took uh, the round uh, brush, uh, and then I'm just going around and shading in the face. And then I'm drawing in the antenna right here. And then I added the smile. And then I added two white dots in the eyes just to give it more character. And then right here, I finished both the wings you can see, and I added some dots to the tail and the face. And then I'm signing it and putting the year. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you'd like to see more of my artwork, I have an Instagram, and um, every all my uh, users are going to be usually artwork by Sage. Um, so my Instagram is called Artwork by Sage. I'll link it down below if you'd like to see. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more of these videos, uh, please uh, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you have any tips or advice you'd like to give me, uh, just let me know. Um, thank you.